Hey everybody, Mike Toy Bonsai Boise. This is a corkscrew willow. I've had this for about seven or so years now. It started as just a little tiny cutting. No joke, a little cutting about the size of one of those little skinny branches there. Except half as long. Just put it in a bottle of water and let it go. Ever since then, I've just been up potting it into a bigger pot. My sort of plan was just to let it be a, a yard bonsai or a, you know, a porch bonsai, which is what it is now. But it's had quite the journey, as you can see. Some of the branches have died off. So I'm going to walk through this and some of its history and some of the cuttings that I've been playing with uh, from this tree and a new tree. Let's take a look. So here is some of the cuttings that I've taken from it. I took these last year, about this time, and I wired them up. Just thought I would see if I could do some kind of fusion with it, just for fun. I have a lot of these cuttings, so I'm doing different things, but as you can see, they're sort of fusing together. They're not quite there yet. And the wire is kind of loose, that's just some copper wire. It's sort of loose. Um, I'm going to keep a close eye on it because it's to the point now where it could start biting into the bark soon. But I've got it doing kind of a lean. I don't know what I would even call that. I guess a lean style. But some of the cuttings really took off well. And some didn't. This one did, luckily. So I wrapped it with that... Um, that plumber's tape there at the bottom that's pretty tight so I'm probably going to take that off soon and just see how it looks I didn't do it right at this moment yet because I just had a lot of trees to get through but as you can see it's not really a clean fusion either I, I really just grabbed some cuttings and stuck them together and wired it up I was surprised it took off as well as it did but that's a quick look at this one so this is a quick look at a different tree not a cutting this was sent to me from Eric at Dreaming Green Nursery. Thanks, Eric. Sent this to me last year, and I forget the actual variety of this willow. I want to say it could be a weeping willow, but at this point it's starting to look a lot like that yellow corkscrew, so it could be one of those. Um, I'll have to look and see if I can figure it out, but I've got a lot of branches down at the base of the trunk just to work on thickening of the trunk. Those are sacrificial branches but it's a cool little tray so far i think i'm going to try to do a weeping effect with it that's my loose plan for now and this is just a quick look at it just to check it out i took a cutting as you can see i did a trunk shop about halfway up there you can see where it starts to go off in a different direction now i'll show you what that looks like but otherwise it's a cool tree for now so here is the cutting from that last tree kind of a s shape going still pretty skinny but i don't know why i just like it i think it's cool on this one the leaves look a little greener than rather than yellow compared to the last one it's got some cool movement and bend going there so watch me screw it up here I'm looking at this movement and I'm like, that's cool. Let's try to exaggerate it a little more. So I mess with it. Now I'm like, uh, I don't like it. So I mess with it more. Nope, don't like that. Eh, let's, yeah. Now I really don't like it. I should have never touched it. The more I look at it, the more I don't like whatever it is that I just did and I mess with it and I just keep making it worse. As I was watching this video afterwards, I'm like, stop touching it. It just gets worse. I'm just trying to, at this point, I'm trying to get it back to how it started and now I can't even remember how it started and so I just sort of roll with it. Anyways, that's a quick look at the cool S type shape cutting tree that I completely demolished. Here's a larger cutting that actually died way back. It's really not that interesting now other than the fact that it was about six feet tall last fall 
and most of it died back over the winter. This is a cutting off of a green corkscrew that I'm going to show you here in a moment. There could be more varieties than that, but I, I'm aware of the green variety and the yellow variety. And that refers more to the color of the bark than the leaves that, for the most part. As you can see, the trunk there's green. The last ones, it was yellow. Anyways, I almost tossed it, but a little bit survived. So here's a whole group of cuttings, different style, but also a fusion. I had so many cuttings last year, I got to the point where I was just sticking them in pots and then grabbing a handful and sticking a handful of them in a pot. And that's what I did here. And some of them just died. Others, the whole handful survived. Not sure what the difference was. Going for something like a upright style here. I just really love how bright those leaves are. So this one's not so interesting yet, but I want to get a quick look at it. This is a blue arctic willow, or arctic blue willow. It's the kind of willow that you would see next to an office building somewhere, just some piece of landscape. But when I saw it, I kind of thought a clump style might work. I haven't done anything with it yet, nothing at all. Bark looks, it's got like a maroon grayish kind of color, unless you get close to it, I noticed. You single one out and look at it, you can't see it, but as a group, it looks maroon. Got these little tiny dainty leaves. So we'll come back to that someday. That's just a quick introduction. One more look at a group of cuttings. This is my long, leggy, awkward group. It's confused and doesn't know what it wants to do yet. Compared to that last upright one, which was short and bushy, this is the complete opposite. Anyways, that was that. Now here is a, a cool tree that I picked up last summer. This is a green corkscrew willow. Lots of cool potential here. I'll show you what it looked like when I first got it. So that's it in July of 23. Pretty raw. Dead branches all over the place. A few live branches going straight up. I picked this up for about $30 from a local nursery here in town. And I actually picked up three of them at the time. Unfortunately, this was the only one to survive the winter. I told myself I wasn't going to mess with it until the following spring. July, of course, being the wrong time of year to do root pruning and that type of thing. So that's what I promised myself. Five minutes later, I cut off all the dead limbs and said, okay, that's it. We're not going to cut into anything live. We'll just stick with that for now. Ten minutes later, I decided to bare root it and do some root pruning and put it into some new bonsai soil because, you know, self-control. I did this to all three that I bought, and this was the only one to make it, unfortunately. The other three were just as cool looking, too. It didn't have much foliage, so I kept those really long branches that go straight up, and there it is now. Back to present day, you can see it's got a lot of cool character. That, that trunk, the bark on the trunk looks really aged and mature and weathered. I'm going to let it grow out and get really healthy, for real this time. I might do a little bit of trimming, and I'll probably nip away some of that, the dead stumps on there. But I would really hate to lose this one. And considering I lost two out of three, I'm going to actually stick to it this time. One last look at it. Got high hopes for this guy in the future. I think it's got a lot of great potential. For what it's worth, I gotta say, willows make great bonsais for some reasons, 
and bad bonsais for others. Great bonsai because they grow really fast. They're really cool. You can do a lot with them. You can take cuttings super easy. Just tons of character. In other ways, bad because they will break your heart. They also die easy and they die back really easy and for no reason sometimes. It could be perfectly healthy and one day you go out and half of it died off. Speaking of that, back to my original yellow corkscrew bonsai. Uh, willow, not bonsai yet. So this one had bigger, more mature branches and last year they just died off. Um, most of them died off. I think about two of them survived. And here's a look at it in December. It's about five months ago, four or five months ago. And you, at that point, I could see, yeah, the last two have died off. And I got really worried. I was worried that it was going to keep going. Because I don't know why I decided to just die back the way it did, but it did. It had me pretty worried. I just kept a close eye on it. And luckily, it survived. Just those two big branches died off and the rest of the branches survived and grew more. Now, there are some things I gotta be mindful of because a lot of these branches are coming out of one spot. So it's not your typical one branch dividing into two and two into four and four into eight. It's like one big trunk dividing into like eight branches. So I gotta keep a close eye on it and it's going to be kind of a balance between letting it grow out and not letting it grow out and getting reverse taper. But I have to say, I really, I really do love this tree. Give it a good drink of water because my hose doesn't reach all the way out to this point. And we'll set it up well for the rest of the growth season. Thanks for watching today. Please like and subscribe if you haven't yet. You can see more updates like these and some others that I do. And have a good rest of your day.